Sophia. Thank you for stopping by. So today I would like to teach you on how to measure or how to locate your cervix. So step number one, wash your hands. Always make sure your hands are clean because you do not want to um, get yourself um, infections. Number two is do not apply any hand cream, do not apply any um, soaps or whatever. Do not. Just rinse your hands, let them be plain. Point number three is do not have long nails because if you have long nails, you have um, chances of injuring yourself while you're inserting your finger because yes, you're going to be inserting your finger up. So do not have long nails. Also with nails, you cannot really feel where your cervix is and I will, you will get to understand what I mean by, um, by that in a few. Uh, the next one is squat. Squatting position is best. Um, I use the squatting position. Other people prefer to lie on the bed and raise their legs up. So it's the same way that you would do, say you're going to a gynecologist's office, the same kind of position. But for me, squatting worked well. And then number three, um, for me, I, I measured my cervix or, or located my cervix during my period simply because I am already lubricated. Because, you know, when you're having a period, what's coming out is uh, uh, your blood, very little blood, actually. Uh, blood, um, your, the, um, what is it called? The membrane. Is it called the membrane? You know, like... Yes, the membrane that's coming out. And also the other thing that's coming out is mucus. So mucus is what gives you natural lubrication. But if, you're, if you want to measure your cervix during, time, during the time when you do not have your period, then get a water-based lubricant or something organic. Know what you're using. So basically, if this, is, if this is lube that you've used before and you know it, use it. Otherwise, you'd rather do it during your period because then you're naturally um, lubricated. So when I talk about a cervix, this is what I'm talking about. This one right here. This is what is the cervix. So this is your vulva. Uh, other people also call it vagina, but actually the vagina is this uh, passage where the baby usually comes out. So this is your vulva. This is your vagina. And then right up here, this is your cervix. So for women who have, um, say, IUDs and diaphragms and all that, this is where they usually, this is the spot where it's usually covered. Also for women who, who are virgins, this is where the hymen is. That's why if a boy fingers you or a woman fingers you, you will not really lose your virginity until it gets here. This is, this is what usually breaks. Also, when you're having, when you're inserting your grace cup, this is where, this is where um, it collects, this is where your blood comes from. Also, during sex, when um, sperm is going in, this is the tiny little hole that the sperm usually goes in for, um, uh, for, uh, for you to have a baby. So, now that we have that out of the way, how do you measure? How do you measure? How do you locate it? How do you know where your cervix is? So, this is how you measure. While in your squatting position, insert your finger. So depending on how high or how low your cervix is, mine, I only inserted, inserted it up to here, up to that level. So when you're inserting, or uh, when you're inserting your finger, look out for something that feels like an egg. For me, it felt like an egg. Some people say it feels like the tip of your nose. For me, it felt like an egg. So basically, what you'll be touching when you feel that kind of egg thing will be this. You'll be feeling this whole part. So basically, you're inserting your finger and then you, um, you, you, you can run your finger around and this is what you'll be feeling. So when you insert your finger, you're going to run your finger around and it's going to feel like an egg. That's the best way I can describe it. It's very soft, it's very fleshy, it's very slippery. That's what you're going to feel. So then you've got, by then it means you've gotten to your cervix. But the point that you want to get to, this is what you're looking for. This, this feeling, this, this right here is what you're looking for, that opening. So right in the middle of that egg feeling, of that egg thing, you're going to touch right at the base, you're going to touch it. And then it's going to feel like, it's going to feel like two lips. You see, like if your lips are closed like this, mm, it's going to feel like. Actually, that's the exact same feeling. Because it's going to feel like it's lips, two little lips that are opened, and then you're doing this to it. And then you know you have arrived at your cervix. Um, why do you need to know where your cervix is? For example, if you're using, in general, it's good to just know your body and know where things are located. Um, if you're using a cup, for example, that is where, so assuming this is your cervix, you found it, when you're using your cup, that is what you cover. 
So when you cover it, it means that when you're having your period, when you're having your period, it's going to be dripping right inside your cup. That's why it's very important for you to know where your cervix is. Like I said, it's in the shape of an egg, and you can see the cup has four holes. So um, uh, the suction is going to be created around that egg, that egg thing, which is your cervix. That's where that's where the suction is going to be created. Hence, there's no leakage that will happen. Also, no air will be going in. So I hope that makes sense. Point to note, um, the cervix sometimes moves, so it doesn't have to be in that same position every time. So depending on the time of the month or your activity, your cervix can move. So for example, for a woman like me, my cervix is usually very low when I'm having my period. That's why, like I said, this is literally all I inserted. My finger from here to here is all that I inserted. Um, for some people, the cervix is just naturally high. So um, you might have to use your middle finger. You'll have to use your middle finger because it's longer so that you can actually push your finger to find it. For some people, the cervix is not right in the middle. So for on average, a woman's cervix will be right there, right in the middle. For some people, it will be tilted slightly to the left or, sp or slightly to the right. That's why it's important for you to know where it is. So like you'll insert your finger and then you like make a turn, like you like make a corner because it's not straight up. So, um, and also the position of the cervix can move depending on, like I said, for example, during your period, it can move higher or lower. Or also when you're aroused, when you're about to have sex, naturally your cervix will move higher because it doesn't want to be pounded by that dick, you know? <laughs> Um, I think I've answered that question because I always get it all the time. That's why, and especially for a cup user, it's very, very important for you to know where your cervix is because, like I said, that is where you insert the cup and that is where the blood will be flowing. The good thing is sometimes you don't even have to go so high because the moment it's here, and if you know exactly where your cervix is, the moment you've inserted the cup, the blood will just be dripping right, um, right inside it. So I hope you found this video educative. Please um, share it to their friends so that they can actually measure and know where the cervix is and the importance of the cervix. Also, another point to note, <laughs> I did not know that this happens, but a friend of mine recently gave birth um, through the normal way and she said one of the most disgusting thing that happened that she also did not know was going to happen was when the doctor wants to measure how far you're dilated, the doctor will come in and then they'll just shove the two fingers inside and then they'll go like this because they want to know how far you dilated so that the baby could come out. So basically what I mean by that is, you know the baby is here. Um, when you're pregnant, the baby is here. This is what, you see, this is a very tiny hole. So this hole needs to open to about 10 centimeters. So imagine how tiny it is, and it has to open for 10 centimeters for the baby's head to come out. So the doctor will have to go in with his fingers and go like this go like this to see how far, how big you are. And she's like, Abby, it was so dehumanizing, humil humiliating. And I was like, was it painful? She's like, by the time you're going through labor pains, them shoving in the fingers is nothing. Like that is clearly nothing. So, which, which goes on to show that you really need to know where your cervix is because you really need to know. <laughs> And also, when you get pregnant and it's time to give birth, just know that the doctors are going to be going in and opening it up. Um, anyways, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make videos every Sunday with regards to menstrual hygiene and feminine stuff in general. And then on Thursdays, I just make general, general videos. I'll see you next week. Bye.